Welcome back to Run Pet Bath and Beauty. Today I am making a very exciting soap. I'm so excited. And I have to thank um, Denise from Adjusted Apothecary because she and I had a discussion with comments. She made a succulent soap a few months ago and we I fell in love with the molds that she used for the base of her succulent soaps and we talked about how I like to make um, soaps that actually look like cakes and she told me about this mold that is like a three-tiered cake and I ended up buying it and I've had it for I don't know about two weeks now and I'm just now getting around to doing this. So this soap is inspired by the song uh, Marry Me by Jason Derulo. Um, one of my favorite new songs. Oh look I don't have my other light on. There that might be better for y'all. <coughs> and uh, the fragrance I'm using is from Nature's Garden. It's called Wedding Day. I will leave the fragrance notes um, in the description box below. It's it's kind of floral, but I in this application I think it's going to be absolutely perfect. So let's get started. I have in my lye water as usual. Oh, this is my Isis recipe, by the way. So in my lye water there is distilled water, aloe vera juice, sea salt organic cane sugar and I put my titanium dioxide in my lye water. So I am going to put this in here get all this TD out that I can anyway because the cakes are just going to be white and then um, once I'm able to unmold them hopefully tomorrow depending on I mean my Isis recipe is really hard so I should be able to unmold them tomorrow and then we will decorate them like cakes I'm so excited thank you thank you thank you Denise for telling me that this mold existed because otherwise I wouldn't have known okay so let's turn Freddie on low okay let's get our yogurt in here this is organic Greek yogurt and I don't because this is a smaller recipe than when I do it in my loaf molds there's not as much yogurt in this okay let's get this yogurt mix okay. and we've got to get our fragrance put in there and then I get to show you how gorgeous this mold is. I'm so excited. Can you tell? I'm in a really great mood today because I'm actually able to make this soap. So, I'm actually making three soaps today. So, okay, let me get some of the bubbles out of here. And pour our fragrance in. Oh, it smells so good. And let's hope it doesn't rice because it definitely smells very florally. And it's very yellow. But it looks like it didn't change anything. Is it racing? No. It is not. But it's definitely accelerating my batter and I know that I mean I have a lot of titanium dioxide in this I have about a teaspoon and a half that I put in the lye water but I wanted this as white as possible okay so here is my awesome mold here let me move it back here so you all can see it see it's like a, a three-tiered cake so I'm going to go ahead and put that bad boy in there like this and let's get this poured. Yay! 
I'm so excited. I can't even like contain myself. That's awesome. And like I said, thank you so very much, Denise, for telling me this mold existed. Because it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Well, hopefully I get another cake out of all of this. Oh, I didn't make enough batter. Well, it looks like I'll get to have one for myself. That's all right. I knew I should have done 28 ounces. It's better to have too much than it is to not have enough, but we'll live. Actually, that one, because these are like six ounce cavities. So we should have a good amount. Okay, let me go ahead and tap this just a little bit. I know it's loud, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for a, more than 24 hours. I think I'm going to let it sit for about 36 hours just in case. Um, before I unmold it and I will bring you back when I decorate these I can't wait it's gonna be awesome so we'll have at least five so I will see you in about 36 hours bye bye hey guys um, these are our three tiered cakes I thought I would unmold them with you they are solid as a rock I put them in the freezer like I ordinarily would and I was able to fill this other one up by just taking a spoonful out of each of the others. They'll have to be planed on the bottom, but I want to get, I want to unmold these with you guys because I'm so super excited about it. So let's see if we can get these unmolded without too much trouble. Like I said, they're frozen solid. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, they're going to be so beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to decorate them after they they thaw out. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. This mold is pretty uh, clingy. But they're coming out perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to plane them on the bottom so they're, so they're straight, but look at that. That is so gorgeous. Do it very carefully. This is my Isis recipe, as I told you, so this is, you know, my really hard, 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 hard recipe. It's got a pretty nice mango butter content in it so these are going to be fun to decorate they almost look like <laughs> the hats that Devo wore in the 80s <laughs> okay sorry that was that was bad but it does it almost looks like the little hats that Devo wore in the 80s oh sorry you can see that okay Let's get these last two out of here. And then tomorrow, when these are completely thawed out and ready to go, we will decorate them. I want to do some colorful ones, but I really, really also want to do like a mixture of black, whites, and grays on a couple of them. And these are, you know, because we do bridal shows all the time. And we do at least two a year. So these will be perfect for those shows. So when we get closer to those shows, I'll make some more. But, alrighty. 
We will be back tomorrow when those are thaw. And I will see you then. Welcome back. Um, we are going to finish up Marry Me. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny. I forgot to tell you guys um, the story behind why we named this soap this way. We had a, a difference of opinion. You have to excuse the background noise. My son-in-law is on the phone and he paces when he's on the phone. But um, my daughter wanted to call this soap White Wedding by Billy Idol. And my niece wanted to call this Marry Me by Bruno Mars. And I wanted to call it Marry Me by Jason Derulo. So we had to get another vote. And Marry Me by Jason Derulo it is. Now because this soap it has been unmolded for a few days. Let me move my piping bags here. Um, I am going to score where I'm going to be piping. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. I'm going to score a little bit where I'm going to be piping so this new soap will stick. Wipe it off just a little bit. Okay. The colors we I'm using, I decided that I wasn't going to do bright colors because I, I wanted something way different. So I have activated charcoal. I have gray 50 shades. I have sterling silver. I have white. And I have crimson red. So we're going to use these five colors to decorate our soaps. And I'm positive I have way too much piping. i got to find the, the one tip that, okay. So I'm going to start with the crimson. Hopefully you guys can see. Lazy Susan, I've had it for years, so and I have the other reason I have these toothpicks is sometimes these tips will give me a little point, and I don't really want a little point on there. Let's get our darker gray. Our darker gray has the biggest tip on it. White is pretty set up. Actually, let me put a little bit of gray in there. There we go. And our activated charcoal. Can't 
I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, let me see if I can pick this up for you guys. So we have our cake that has the decorations on the top and then all the way around. It was so beautiful. So beautiful. I think I want to put a little bit more pizzazz on the top. Let's get this toothpick and try to get some of those spikies off of there. Okay. Alright. Okay, so there's one. Do we have... I think we need some crimson right here, too. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to take this off of here and put this over here. Okay, and I have these squares just so I can pipe on the <coughs> I did uh, plane these. So they were flat on the bottom. Okay, let's start with our sterling silver this time. black is not completely set up. So I was going to put some um, pearls some sugar pearls in some of these, but I just said, yeah, I'm not going to. up to you because it's easier for me to oh this way haha <laughs> and woo, hold it like this I'm very very excited about these I'm so thankful to Denise that she told me about these molds because these molds are fantastic Okay, so I'm just going to continue to do that. I'll do one more with you guys, <clears throat> and then I'll do the other ones off camera. Okay. Let's start with the white. Get some crimson on there. 
darker gray. show you how they look when um, the rest of this piping is all set up and everything so it'll be what tomorrow and then you'll get to see everything as beautiful as it is so I will see you later hey guys we're back with our marry me I got a little I said it be I, I don't know if it would be last video or next video I can tell when it's starting to get warmer outside because I get some more soda ash in the summer than I do in the winter so but I just wanted to show you the the finished product here maybe if I bring you in for a close-up it would actually be better so hopefully you guys don't get too sick Let's see. Oh, see, now you can see my shadow. Let me turn down the ring light. Like I said, sometimes the ring light washes out some stuff. But yeah, I really like them. They look good. They sort of go all the way around and then like come back down and at the bottom. So, yeah, I'm going to have to steam them because they got soda ash so but until next week i will see you then you guys have a great week